Oops. <laughs> this is Crime Watch. Welcome to Crime Watch. I'm Jane Cameron with Sergeant Mike Lovechick of the Buena Park Police Department. Look behind us. There's no one there. That's because Silverado Days hasn't opened yet. No, it hasn't started. We're here on Thursday night before the kickoff of Silverado Days. So it uh, will officially start tomorrow and it goes all weekend long from, uh, from Friday to Sunday. Now we know that you're going to be seeing this after it's all over. So we want you to appreciate the wide open spaces, no crowds, there's no lines at the rides. You can walk up to any booth immediately and well, you could get help if there was anything in the yeah. booth <laughs> and there's Nothing not. There. But this is a great kid friendly event. Right, absolutely. Man, it's uh, there's all kinds of games or all obviously you can see there's all kinds of rides. Uh, it gets geared towards, you know, the little kids all the way up to the big kids who like the big throw up rides yeah. <laughs> as I call them. <laughs> but uh, no, just lots and lots of fun here. Lots of activities. Um, every year they have lots uh, of food. Lots of lots of food. That's a matter of fact we're going to come out there. You have to visit there. The police department booth, they sell the most awesome hamburgers right. and it benefits the search and rescue explorers. Exactly, yes. Matter of fact, uh, they do very good business over the weekend and like I said, every penny that goes towards uh, towards the the, uh, the charities that they contribute to. And and again, like I said, it's just a fun, fun weekend and uh, it's, it's we're looking forward to it. We wanted to let you see what it looks like because after this, there are going to be a lot of crowds but a lot of fun too. Right, lots of crowds. Uh, usually, uh, you know, Sunday afternoon is always like the the, the last kick. Yeah, it's the family fun day. So that's that's when the, most of the, the younger kids come out. So, but you know, like I said, we uh, we anticipate a big crowd, but we you know usually it's 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 a real tame crowd. Nothing really exciting happens here, but it's a lot of fun. I think they want us to leave. The lights oh, yeah, are going lights out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What happens when you take a wrong turn? Sometimes you end up in a storefront. You know, yes, that can happen. <laughs> and this is a, an instance where that did happen. I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what the circumstances were here, but when we pulled in, we said to ourselves, well, you don't see that every day now, do you? <laughs> so, but uh, again, Officer Barton was here and he's, he might be able to give us a better description of what happened. So Officer Barton, what happened here? Because I'm sure it, it just didn't, it wasn't a wrong turn, right? No, it wasn't. A, it was actually a change of uh, gears. So it was, it, was a, <laughs> it was a wrong one. Instead of in reverse, you put it in drive. So that's really, that's all it is to it. And stepped on the gas and you know, no structure damage, thank God. So And she wasn't hurt either? No, no one was injured. So that's it's good to know too. For something like this, do you get it? Uh, obviously, they're going to be responsible for the damage, but do right. they get any kind of a ticket because of it? It's going to be uh, b debated or battled between their insurance companies and whatever. So it's, that's really all it is. Um, as far as any other legal, unless she was drinking, you know, under the influence of alcohol or some type of, you know, drugs or something like that, then then we take more of a legal action. But. Other than that, it's between insurance companies. Yes. So this is just a matter of her insurance trying to figure out how much she's going to pay. Really what happens is uh, on a situation like this, uh, this is on private property. Uh, so most of the time, if there's a traffic accident involved, it's going to be really uh, a, a matter of insurance, as Officer Barton mentioned. It's uh, simply because if there was, if you can't really enforce 
traffic laws on a private property. However, as he indicated that, if there was any, any indication that there was drinking or alcohol or drugs or anything like that involved, then we can, we can start taking uh, legal action like that. But in a situation like this where it was you know, clearly what we call an accident uh, and nobody was hurt, that's really what counts, uh, more than likely this will just be a matter of insurance. A bad day. Yeah, you know, it could. <laughs> and you probably saw the car driving out of there too. So I, I don't know if it's drivable or not, but uh, obviously they'll take care of it. But the, again, the biggest thing here is that I'm presuming that the place was it was empty when it yes. happened. Yes. Uh, there, nobody was hurt. You know, cars can be replaced. Cars can get fixed. Window fronts can be replaced. So that's but what's really, really important though is the fact that nobody got hurt. Sergeant Lovechick, October is a special month, isn't it? It is a special month. It's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so what we do is a lot of our officers, as we're going to see here in a moment, are wearing pink patches on their uniforms. So Officer Davis, if you want to turn a little bit for the camera, Absolutely. you can see the pink patches. Um, does anybody ever say anything to you when they see you out in the street with the unusual patches? Yeah, it does uh, draw quite a bit of attention when people have questions, kind of like Sergeant Lovecheck explained. Um, it's just for the Breast Cancer Awareness, Awareness Month, which is all of October. So to honor uh, um, our particip participation, we wear the patches. That's kind of a cool thing, you know. It's it's unusual to see the patches change. Well, yeah, it's it's like I said, this is what we do every October, and uh, my other patches are in the uh, cleaners right now. So, <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, most officers wear the the pink patch. As a matter of fact, uh, people can buy them uh, during the month of October from our association. Uh, and again, all proceeds go to uh, charitable organizations, as you know, as far as research for for the cure. So it's it's really for a good cause. So why did you stop that car? Well, the, it was a very minor violation. The guy's driving around with, uh, or the gal was driving around without her headlights on. So it's obviously dark. So um, we stopped the car for, for that reason and made contact with the occupants in the car. And they were released. So what were the details of it? Well, what happened was is that the, the person had, the driver had a suspended driver's, or suspension on the driver's license, I'll say. But it's one of those ones where uh, she was not aware of the suspension. So in other words, she hadn't been served the suspension. So technically, you really can't, if a person, if, if, you, if you have a, a situation where a person has not been served a suspension and they don't admit or they don't uh, leave me. They say they don't, they didn't yeah, get it. And that happens. And that, and that does happen because what will happen is a DMV, uh, if you owe some fine, in her situation, she owed some fines to the DMV. So the DMV put an administrative suspension on her, or a suspension on her driver's license, but it could be resolved by her going and and taking care of the, paying the fee. Now it, the the suspension was very recent, so what we did was we allowed the other person to drive the car away, and um, uh, who in that way they can take care of that business. But we made sure that she knows that her driver's license is suspended now. So in the future, if it happens again, then there's no. Uh, trying to say, hey, I didn't know my driver's license was suspended or not. So you were the one who served her? Correct, yes. She's got, uh, she's got the notification now that the driver's license is suspended. So again, if it happens again, she, has, she, she can't claim that she doesn't know about it. If you notice the smoke behind us, it's not because it's a fire. It's not Scary Farm. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> we are, 
As of this recording, we are knee deep in Halloween haunt, and this is actually a kind of a quiet night here for uh, for for haunt purposes. Fridays and Saturdays are just off the hook over here as far as traffic is concerned. But uh, so you have to know, this is Thursday the 18th, right. which means that this coming weekend is going to be one of the big yes, ones. Yes, they they if I'm not mistaken, I think they've already mentioned that they have a sellout crowd both Friday and Saturday night for this weekend. And it is a combination of the weekend with Silverado Days that we talked about. And so with all that traffic around here, it's just going to Don't be. come here. <laughs> it's just going to Unless gonna be. you want to. Yeah. It's, well, it's, you know, it's a, like I said, it's a, just like Silverado Days. It's a lot of fun. It's a good family event. Here it's maybe a little bit more scarier than it is at Silverado Days. But, they have you know, the new roller coaster. Right. But for the most part, you know, it's, it's a, there's, there's a lot of people, but everyone here comes and has a good time. Well, and Knott's Berry Farm loves it, you know. It's a very, very popular event for them. And oh, yeah. it is a lot of fun, too. Right. This is, uh, like I said, this and is And scary. The, they they probably do most of their of their business for the whole the entire year during the month of October. So it, it's uh, obviously a very important month to, uh, to Knott's Berry Farm. And again, like I said, it's just, uh, there's, there's lots and lots of people here. So we ask when people do come through here uh, during the month of October that they be patient. Uh, they be careful and uh, always look out for you know for people darting in the street and all that kind of stuff because we. You, you know, mean the goblins yeah, and the goblins? Well, <laughs> yeah, anybody like that. But it just again, like I said, the, the main reason why we're out here uh, in, in force for the uh, for the traffic uh, control stuff is to make sure people are obeying the laws and driving carefully and getting to the place uh, that they want to go. Well, and tonight it's Thursday. Even though there's officers on patrol, uh, there aren't any traffic stops or barricades or cones. There's nothing going on here tonight. But tomorrow night... Right. Tomorrow night there's going to probably be some traffic detours. Uh, it, it might consist of, a, of a, one of the turn lanes being closed off. Um, there might be some uh, some traffic control devices down at Western and La Palma. It all depends on the volume of what's going on. If there's a, if there's a need for it, they'll do it. They just won't. The traffic officers won't just do it arbitrarily. Uh, but it has been tested and pro, you know proven over the years that it actually works. A lot of people kind of go, "Oh my gosh, why are you cutting down that lane?" It's well, tested and proven that people will dart through the yeah. crosswalks oh, yes. when they're not yeah. supposed to. Yeah. Just. Because yeah. well, a lot, and like I said, a lot of people just they they don't have the patience for it. They don't have the patience for the traffic. But we ask that you know you you put your your calm hat on, please, and and uh, and get through it as as best as possible. If you have any questions about tonight's show, you can call the Buena Park Police Department at 562-3901. I've said it once, and I'll say it every single time. Follow them on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter. There's a lot of good information that comes out. There's a social media group in yes. the police department yep. that is specifically there to release information. So when streets get shut down, mm -hmm. when there's a look for a missing adult or a missing child, there's a lot of good information that comes out and it's all about getting out there for all of you so that you can be partners with the police department. So with Sergeant Mike Lovechick, I'm Jane Cameron. Thanks for watching.